right, Lennox Aldred here from Sports Max Television, the home of champions in the Caribbean, and I'm here with the head honcho of U.S. cricket, Mr. Koreshi. And the tournament is well underway, and we're going into the semi-final stage right now. Lots of Caribbean influence in this 2017 tournament. Talk to us about that. Yeah, this is the ninth year. As you know, this is uh, one of the prestigious and the best tournament in North America, which is $100,000 cash prize, U.S. Open. A lot of Caribbean uh, players, they are participating on this tournament, uh, U.S. Open, and every most of them, they've been playing. Like Browell came in, Pollards, and um, Edwin Lewis, and uh, Norain's. All the best players here, and there was the four-day tournament we got quarterfinals finished yesterday. There's the qualifying. Four teams came up to qualifying, and one is um, California Bears, and a Smart Choice, U.S. All-Star, and Somerset Cavalier. All four teams, they had it. Most, a lot of Caribbean players been playing on these tournaments because there's the uh, South Africa tournament is, has been canceled. Uh, and then Bangladesh Premium League is not even start yet. And so they are here and playing. And there was last night was the wonderful show they put on uh, Browell Brothers. If you've seen that, he's been took, uh, took Washington Tiger against that. Best batting I've seen. Seemed like Laura. Brian Laura, the way he have been play. And you can watch this game back again, MacTV.com. But Caribbean supporting the best cricket out there today this tournament right and um, the players seem to enjoy this tournament and obviously it's getting bigger and better and what are some of the the innovations that we can see for 2018 2018 basically they give you boost tour because the icc sanctioned this tournament number one and number two is basically most as well-known players has been playing on this 2017 player we have over uh 50 international players well-known coming from South Africa, Pakistan, uh, West Indies, Sri Lanka, and India. This is the only, you know, this is secret. This is the only tournament U.S. Open have IPL players have been playing. Not in Caribbean, CPL, not in PS, uh, Pakistan Super League, and Bash Leagues, none of them, they've been playing IPL player. On this tournament, last year and this year, Every year they're participating an IPL player, which is a blessing for us. Our cricket, a lot of Indians, they come in participating and to watch them. So that was the great news for the uh, fan of the lover of the cricketer in America. America is like so many in U.S. has not been promoting properly since 19, uh, since 2008 to 2017. We have put nine years, put things together, these products. U.S. Open. U.S. Open, this is a, one of the biggest tournament in North America, is the $100,000 cash prices, which is, uh, see this cups who's gonna be take the champion take home, and this is for 2017, and 2018 getting boost by 2017. So hopefully we will have 2018 as the biggest crowds and biggest uh, players more participating, which has not been participating last uh, several years, but this is gonna be a more opportunity they had it. And uh, there is a lot of team owners approaching now to starting. We have teams start registering for 2018. And also to that university teams, he's playing on this tournament also. Right. Um, this tournament obviously is getting bigger and better. I mean, Fort Lauderdale might, might be not be able to host this tournament anymore. Are, are you thinking of going outside of Florida to host this tournament? Yeah, definitely, because what happened took us the brand. So this is like I can truly say uh, I witnesses this is a brand has been built. Recognition worldwide, India, Pakistan, West Indies, New Zealand, all over the place, U.S. Open especially in Canada, they want to, every players in Canada, they want to play. So now we were thinking basically, is a brand not hosting because uh, as you see the grounds situation, we have only one ground which is there and then two other one is not on the field. But we will taking this thing up, move around this next year and following years. Can be hosted in New Jersey, New York. Can be hosting on um, Dallas and uh, Midwest. Yeah. 
and California. I was uh, we discussing it for there's a uh, Woodley Park in California. There's the four grounds, so we will can able to take that thing up on one of these grounds and change the environment so people more come in and that area and participate because this Florida is way east coast and the um, California West Coast is almost like you're flying to the England right. from here to California. Mm -hmm. So we was uh, discussing on our groups on Cricket Council USA, and I'm actually holding one of the seats for chairman, uh, CEO for Cricket Council USA, and um, our board member deciding it probably next year, uh, few months where we be host and better for the cricket to bring in more players and more teams participating in US Open 2018. Right, great stuff. Great stuff for the cricket. I can see this tournament getting as big as the CPL and the IPL. What is the highest in terms of utmost for you personally as the man who conceptualized this? Honestly, like I have done, uh, I have the dream for it. So I'm gonna bring the brands, one of the biggest uh, tournament which is with the U.S. Open. So 2009, just like a golf U.S. Open, tennis uh, U.S. Open, we created for the U.S. Open for the cricket. And our main goal was one day we will have the tournament can increase as a standard of like a World Cup. And as you know, the U.S. always playing NFL and all, they consider as a World Cup for them. So this is U.S. Open is World Cup for in cricket and for the America, and that's why we was goal for it, which is I'm very satisfied as I've been sitting there since last year because uh, have not been sanctioned by ICC last three years ago, and we got approval now, and then also we just brand yesterday, youth 13, youth 15, US Open. We branded yesterday, open here. We have 12 teams participating. The first day yesterday started for youth, 13 and youth 15 and that's another brand that's our future mm -hmm. and we bring the future in so fill in to back to the US Open so youth can fill in the there so this is our concept I'm very happy and satisfied on these days I proudly to say that that tournament US Open is been recognized all over the stages every single board Dave Carmen from the, he, he came West in his board. He was sitting last year, same place, and have interview. He, I witnessed the tournament and ESPN3 coverage on that tournament, which is like big things for the um, Caribbeans and all over the world. And then America is the most of the most popular channel, ESPN3 for the sports. Mm -hmm. And first time they did the live for four days, which is they give us a big boost for the US Open. Well, all I can say is that cricket is getting bigger and better in the U.S. here. And we can expect to see even our Caribbean viewers on Sportsmax. Maybe next year we might have the games live. Who tell? See you then. <laughs>